Step two, create a neural tools dataset. Before you can use neural tools to estimate a neural net, you must define a neural tools dataset. This not only involves specifying the data range, but it also involves specifying the role of each variable. There are six possible roles, independent or dependent category, independent or dependent numeric, unused, that is ignored, or tag. This latter type won't be illustrated here, but you can read about it in the online help. To create a neural tools dataset, select any cell inside the data and click the dataset manager on the neural tools ribbon. Respond yes when asked whether you want to define a neural tools dataset. And this brings up the dialog box where you can give the dataset a meaningful name. Select the appropriate range, although neural tools usually guesses it correctly. Apply cell formatting for emphasis and choose a role for each variable. In this case, Neural Tools correctly guesses that the variables in columns B to N are independent numeric, but you should change the role of type of one to dependent category. Once you click OK, you will see several changes. First, if you checked Apply Cell Formatting, the top row of the dataset will be painted blue, and other minor formatting changes will be apparent. This reminds you that this is a Neural Tools dataset. Second, the columns will have range names, such as ST Alcohol, ST Ash, and so on. ST stands for Stat Tools. Neural Tools shares the dataset manager that was developed for Stat Tools, the statistical analysis package included in the Decision Tools suite. Most importantly, you will be able to perform Neural Tools procedures on the dataset, as explained shortly. In fact, the rest of this tutorial works is shown only if you have created the Neural Tools dataset in this step. If you save the file and then reopen it, the Neural Tools dataset will still be in effect. This means you have to perform this step only once per dataset. However, you are allowed to create multiple Neural Tools datasets in the same file. This is a good reason for giving each a descriptive name. Now it's your turn. Create a Neural Tools dataset specifying the appropriate roles for the variables.